Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Big Pharma. Look at our machines, so many freaking assembly lines already and we are just going for the next one I would say. But first of all I have to get myself an overview over the things, I have no idea where we stand at the moment, this is a new recording session. It seems as though, yeah I remember, we were exploring something cool, a new catalyst. How is our research doing? 26 points, we can use them to upgrade upgrade something? I guess not. We can use our scientist in order to explore something else. I think I want to go for the centrifuge. I kind of want to figure out how that thing works. It looks interesting. I have never used it before. But that's what we're gonna do here. Maybe we're gonna hire some more scientists. No, we don't need to. But we're gonna have a look in our cures tab and see what we can do. With our new catalyst we could go with the erectile dysfunction. So we already have something for the females it would be good to have something for the males as well or appetite suppressant prevents acne yeah we don't have that yet that is crazy so I think we're definitely gonna go for that that is an easy cure oh actually we need a catalyst yeah Suthus rash already has the catalyst that it requires to upgrade so we're gonna do that and then I want to go for another high level cure we already have that sickle cell anemia so maybe we go for tuberculosis we could definitely do that. We actually have discovered this new ingredient and it is Suthus cold symptoms. Very interesting. We could get rid of all of these effects if we wanted to, but it would cost us a lot. So let's build an analyzer for this new ingredient. There it is. We can also already upgrade it almost to the max. Import it. Auxiliary analyzer. Put that bad boy right there and have this analyzed while we are going for this level 2 cure. And where do we want to do that? Hmm. We could unlock some more plots right here. But look at that, I obstructed a slot right here. I didn't see that the last time. So maybe I'm gonna end up rearranging some things right here as well. I think we can do this cure right here. We're gonna import that ingredient. No, that was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go for prevents acne. So we need evaporator and a level 10 to 12. We are already at 15, so one dissolver and then one evaporator should do the trick. We're gonna have this lead right into here and then we're gonna continue right there. Nicely arranged, used up all of the space and we're gonna have a look what that does. This will be a level 2 cure, so the belts already have the right color. We have discovered the fatigue trait, it is all the way on the top. And right here we have the prevents acne. Now we could get rid of that with an ionizer, we should definitely do that and we cannot remove the headaches but I guess before we really go for that we want to analyze that as well just so that we can aim for the maximum strength right from the start there we go our two ingredients are now being processed with our analyzer where is the second one right there and we have discovered the soothers cold symptoms is that right here yes it is we can get rid of that and we also have three slots right here this is not very good convenient. Well guys, I guess it doesn't matter. We don't have to use all of the slots, I believe. I think at least we do have enough space for everything. But you know, the fewer slots we have obstructed, the better. Yeah, but sometimes it's hard to plan these things ahead. I think this space right here is not gonna do us a lot of good anyways, so we might just miss out on one slot right here. Now the question is, do we want to get rid of some of these symptoms? It will cost us a lot, man. We would need to go down to 4, then use a dissolver, and then use a agglomerator, and then we are still not at the perfect spot. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna be daring. I want to see the results. If this is not gonna be profitable, then so be it. Okay, so minus seven, that means two ionizers, one dissolver, then one dissolver to get rid of the one effect, then a evapor- no, a agglomerator to get rid of the other effect, and we have to see where that leads us. So maybe we can fill up all of this space quite efficiently after all. We're gonna have this go right into here, the other ionizer right there, then we are gonna dissolve stuff 
backwards like this. No, that's not gonna work out like this. And then, yeah, we can leave this right here. And now we have to connect things up right there and there and have this go right here. And oh no, not enough space for this one. We need to move this one up here. Okay, and now we should be theoretically able to do that and that. Oh man, look at that production line. <laughs> for a freaking level one cure. But that's just me, that's just me. If I would be in the pharmaceutical business, then I would be trying to get rid of the side effects despite of the loss in profits. But there we go, we have the soothers cold symptoms and we only have to go up two more evaporators and it will be like the perfect here and we don't really have the space to do that right this is gonna be an issue because theoretically we need two pill printers yep we've encountered a problem maybe we only sell 15 pills a month here or maybe we could use this space more efficiently i mean this is not perfectly set up there's a lot of belt stuff going on we could have this right here then the dissolver oh guys oh guys i guess what we could do is first use a dissolver and then right here an iron that looks much better. Now we have to use the second ionizer. Oh, we already used one ionizer. So it goes into here and there. Now we can use the dissolver to get rid of the disease and then the evaporator right here. And this gives us enough no, we have to first use the agglomerator. Ah, I wish you could switch the in and outputs of those things. We can use the dissolver right here maybe and then the agglomerator. No, it's not working out. Okay, so what if we did something like that? Would this work out? Can we now? No, we can still not have two freaking pill printers. Okay, this is still not the best arrangement. Give me a sec, guys. I can do this. Believe in me. Okay, let's assume we obstruct this slot. So we don't have to be careful about this slot. We can do it right from the start like so. And now we dissolve it once more. Dissolve right here maybe and then have this. Man, it is just the wrong freaking way. We can have it like so maybe. Yes, I think I did it. Did I do it? No. <laughs> Okay, guys, I think I'm onto something here. We almost got it. It must be working like this, please. Okay, you know what? All we have to do actually is remove this guy and we switch this around like so. And now we have a little bit of space. There we go, half this like so. Now my theoretical assembly line should work. Yes, I did it, I did it. We are going towards an output slot. Oh, I can't believe this. You have no idea how long that took. We are gonna paint this stuff. There's gonna be two green machines right next to each other. So maybe we are gonna make this a wooden floor right here. Yeah, this is all gonna belong to us. Ah, oh, this was incredible. Let's hook up the belts. First one goes in here, bringing it three down, four down. Then we need to go three more down. That brings us to the right level to dissolve and get rid of the first side effect. Then we get rid of the second side effect using the agglomerator, then the evaporator to get to the perfect stage and this should give us our dream cure but yeah we fit it in there quite nicely look at that space usage here what did we discover prevents acne so we can actually get rid of that analyzer right here and and now that we know the perfect strength we know where we need to go we need to get rid of it with an ionizer so we would need to ionize it twice and then dissolve it should we do that we could use better machines but I don't want to waste the ticks we can sell more pills this way so ionize twice and dissolve twice i hope i calculated that correctly okay so there is another slot right here but we cannot really use it at the moment so i think i'm just gonna continue into this direction we're gonna have our first ionizer here and then our second one right there then we can dissolve it once and twice like so we are gonna obstruct this slot and this is gonna be our output yeah I'm taking good care of my cures, even my level 1 cures. That reminds me, we haven't painted the other one brown, have we? No, we haven't. Which one were we working on? Like this one? Is this a level 1 cure? Ah, it has still not reached the end of the line. It is right there. Only giving us a profit of 18, but at least it's still in the plus, man. So this is gonna be the cold pill. It's gonna be greatly rated, and it's probably our most complex level 1 pill. 
and this still belongs to the process and this one there we go i think i painted all the belts now okay so we can leave this sorted out and i think we're gonna go for yet another cure in this episode research completed oh the centrifuge is completed i will find out in between the episodes what that actually does but for the time being let's go for something cool yeah combat liver disease look at the worth of this that is crazy we definitely have to go with that so we have to start with prevent scout let's see potentially we can actually do it right here we have three slots we're gonna start right here we're just gonna try it maybe we have to move it prevent scout is imported right here in order to upgrade we need a dissolver and the catalyst let's check out the second slot would be free and we need this catalyst which is not in the second slot right here this one is also not in the second slot and we have no other option so which one is the better option okay so we could actually shake this once which frees the third slot and then we could combine it with this ingredient yeah, i think that's what we're gonna do so shake it once then combine it with the wilted hulkline fume we can import them already and we need a shaker and we are going to need a multi-mixer let's see where can we shake I don't want to obstruct any of the slots. Yeah, we might actually want to move some of these machines down here so that we have more space for this. Let me quickly rearrange that. Yeah, there we go. How about that? That uses up much less space. We can go around here, there and then move up to the creamer and go to the output. And we have saved some space. Was this a level 1 cure? I think it was. Let's paint it. There we go. Okay, so now we can have the shaker all the way over here and we can shake this ingredient just as i said and this will free up the third slot so we can mix it where do we want to put the mixer hmm this does not use up the space very efficiently but it's hard to see another way nathan there is always another way for instance we could mix it right here no shake it right there and then do something like no that's not gonna work out okay next solution we shake it like this so we can have the belt lead around like this and no that's also not gonna work out okay something that i haven't considered yet is having the ingredient come from this slot yep we're gonna stop that and connect this up so it could go to the shaker like so we could have this all the way up here and the second ingredient would run in here what do you think about that? Let's try this out. I'm gonna disconnect this quickly so that we can toggle the correct base once we know where it goes. Okay, so we have these ingredients shaked and mixed and we want to keep the prevent scout so toggle the base and now we can reconnect this up so the other ingredient gets mixed into the mi mix very nice and now we have the catalyst but not the right concentration we need to go up by two so i guess that means two evaporators we can have one right there and the other one up here continue the production please and what do we get we get the right concentration right that was anticlimactic i need a dissolver first we apply that right here so we move along a little bit okay now we got it dissolved and it now combats liver disease and from the looks of it we don't have to get rid of anything nothing is in the active range and you know what comes next we are gonna analyze this beauty this beast of a product level 2 cure and we will be able to output it right here in the meantime i guess we do have some upgrade points yeah i thought so we can upgrade this to the max and we can potentially oh look at that beautiful catalyst i do want to discover that catalyst great now let's have a look into the research tab 75 upgrade points in here let's upgrade the shaker and the multi mixer we are using those guys a lot we are also using the cryogenic condenser which is now upgraded to the max and i guess we should go with these two machines 
machines now. And we have some scientists free to discover or go for experimental processing. I do like that plan. We can even upgrade the centrifuge once. Okay guys, we have discovered the perfect strength of combat liver disease. Oh man, we have to go up a lot. We could go up by 10 and then 1. I think we're gonna do that. So we need the cryogenic condenser and then also a evaporator and we're gonna make this into a sachet I think. No, we don't have anything that has a process time of 3 so the sachet would be a waste. Yeah, I guess we need to go for the pill printer with this one and we're gonna have that right here. So we're gonna place our cryogenic thingy majingy right there and this guy right here. Connect this up and up with our pill printer and this is our export. And now we have used the three slots quite wisely, I have to say. Yeah, there we go. Going into the pill printer. Pill printer takes two turns as well, so this is the perfect construction time for this one. And we should be able to name it. It's a sugar pill. Holy crap, I did something bad here. A sugar pill you always get when you did something wrong, and it's actually a pill with no effect. So let's see where did the mistake happen. What do I get right here? Ah, the cryogenic condenser is the wrong machine. I was thinking of the chromatograph, right? And this actually has a process time of three. So I'm actually gonna go for that. I also want to use my sachet. So this should raise it by 10. But we're first gonna use our evaporator and then this one right here. Now we can connect this up with our chromatograph. And instead of a pill printer, we can now have a sachet fabricator. Great. Oh no, this has quite different output slots, but we can't. And no, no, it's just slightly too long, the belt. Sometimes it is so mean. However, I definitely want to do it with this machine, so we're just gonna do something else. We're gonna come up with something else. Okay, I think I did it. I think I finally did it. What I had to do is rearrange this assembly line once more. Now it is going even more snugly towards its target and we have the space in order to do this, to go around all the way to here and then to the sachet maker and to our output. Holy jeez! But yeah, we got the terrain quite nicely filled out. I used a lot more belts than I wanted to, but sometimes you just have to rearrange stuff until it works. And there we go. We are chromatographing it. Yeah, I think we are at the perfect stage here. Beautiful. That is awesome. And in the sachet maker, it takes three turns in order to come up with this sachet. And we get to name it now. So that is gonna be the liver disease. I want to buy a liver disease sachet, please. Thank you very much. And what do we get for it? Wow, it is worth so much. Look at the profits. Yeah, that is a reason for celebration. And you know what? I'm too lazy to paint all of the flooring. We can clearly see the three different assembly lines right here. So every three turns, we are now selling one of these sachets, which are worth quite a lot and I would say we accomplished a good goal in today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and hopefully I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Bye bye.